Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Marcus and I'm back for another video. Uh, this is kind of a mukbang. I just have here some scrambled eggs with cheese and I got some apple juice. I didn't really feel like actually cooking anything because I'm all, it's actually almost time for me to go to work. So I didn't want to do too, too much. But anyway, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to like this video. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Also be sure to click that thumbs up uh, Sorry, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post uploads. Also, um, if you missed my previous mukbang, to link to, the link to that video will be in the description box as well. And also, you can follow my social media in the description box as well. So, I hope everybody is having a great week so far. Today is Tuesday. Um, my week has been very, very, very good. Now, before I get into the story time, um, I was asked to talk about the government shutdown. Um, and what I'm going to say about that is this. Y'all know y'all president is on some BS. Like, I just don't understand. Like, I couldn't imagine working somewhere and then next thing I know they tell me, girl, you're going to be working for the next couple of weeks, but you ain't going to get paid. Like, I just, like, how do you have the, the, the audacity to tell somebody that? Now, I do know that a lot of people have been calling in sick and calling out of work because and i would do the same thing like if you ain't gonna you ain't gonna pay me like like me personally i'm almost 30 i'm past uh doing volunteer work i'm not gonna be working for free um uh, unless i'm doing something at my church that's different um but it's 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 a, it's a really sad situation it's situations like this that make people go postal and make people do crazy stuff because these people got families they got to take care of. They got bills that have to be paid. And not everybody um, is financially stable to the point where, you know, they might have some money put aside, you know, for certain situations, what, what people call an emergency fund. So see, when certain situations come up, they still have like a, a little bit of a cushion to kind of cover them until whatever is going on blows over. But not everybody is fortunate enough to have that. So when you got these people that's... Um, living paycheck to paycheck basically you know you got people that you know got light bills and water bills this dude got rent and mortgages this dude like girl so what are these people supposed to do now my next question is once all of this is figured out and they get all the kinks out are they gonna give these people some kind of back pay or some severance pay or whatever you call it for these people working and not and not uh getting paid like i i just don't understand that but i am definitely praying for them because that's I could I couldn't imagine that. Because I have an issue when I look at my check and I'm missing an hour or two hours. So I can imagine working a full 40, 40 hours a week or even more and you ain't getting paid for none of that. Please. But anyway, moving on from that, y'all I'm I'm back with a story time. I'm going to have a lot of these story times I, I have a feeling as far with my job until I leave. So, I worked uh, Sunday afternoon. Normally, I don't work Sundays. Um, I normally am off on Sundays. I, you know, y'all know I go to church on Sundays, but um, the manager that normally works Sunday afternoon, she had asked me if we could switch days um, because her she had family coming in from what, or whatever and she wanted to spend time with them. I said, sure. So, I come in Sunday um and normally what i do is i if when i know i'm running ship i normally check the schedule to see who i have but i think it kind of slipped my mind because i don't normally work sundays i normally work monday tuesday wednesday afternoons and then i work saturday mornings but you know i normally have the same people working those days in the afternoon so i normally don't check the schedule i can kind of already know if i work monday or tuesday wednesday i know who's coming and who's not coming i know who you know how late this person can stay and what time this person leaves and whatever so let me just pre put this disclaimer out there that personally to run a successful afternoon shift you need at least seven people besides the manager you need at least three people i'm sorry four people working doing front counter and or drive through dealing with customers you need at least two people in the kitchen and then you need one person that can flex in and out. They can go help in the kitchen if they get backed up, help in the front if the front gets backed up. Tell me why 
when I get there Sunday, I go check the schedule. There's only two people on the schedule besides myself, and neither one of them are fit enough to do the kitchen. Now, one of the guys, he did, he does know the kitchen, but there are certain sandwiches that he's not really um, good at making. He doesn't know how to really make those. And then on top of that, he's not that fast to be able to handle if we get a rush. So, um, the manager that was working that morning, he covered me until I got there. And so, you know, time kept going on. The one guy, he was already there when I got there. And the other girl that was scheduled, she never showed up, never called. So, um, the manager, he sends a text message to the, but we have a group chat with, uh, with the managers. And he says, well, who's coming for second shift? So then my, my, my manager messages me and says, who do you have? I said, well, it's just the guy for right now. And, you know, everybody else is leaving at five. So it's just going to be me and him after five. So the, at that time, the other girl hadn't showed up for work yet. So she says, you know, um, I don't know if she had called somebody in because she says, well, did this person not show up? I said, no. I was like, I didn't know they were supposed to be working. The other girl was a no call, no show. Um, so she says, I'm going to try to find you some help. I said, okay, that's fine. So my thing was, the lady that was working in the kitchen, she left, was getting off at 5, and the other manager, he was leaving at 5. Um, so I said, well, what I do is I just close the lobby down. We'll, we'll just run drive through. Now, somehow, word got back to her that, the, that I had closed down the entire store. Um, and Well, and before I do that, we, we, I still run the two lane drive through. So I was, what my intentions was to do was I was going to do drive through and I was going to put the guy in the kitchen. And so I closed one of the lanes so it would be easier for me because I was going to have to take, take orders, cash out the orders, bag the orders and pass it out all from one window. So I said to save myself some, to not have to work as hard, um, I would just close down that one side. So somehow, somebody told her that I had shut down the whole store. So she called, instead of her getting in contact with me to find out what the issue was, she called the other manager and was like, I, you know, why did you close the store? He says, you know, you need to talk to Marcus. Um, you know, that wasn't my decision to close the store. She never once called me, never once messaged me to find out what was going on. What she did was, she sent a message to the supervisor saying that the other guy closed down the store without her permission, um, without either one of their permissions, and that, um, you know, they, they had kind of had some words that but when he hung up on her and she had been trying to call him, but he hadn't been answering. So immediately he was it's, it immediately pissed off, and I would be too because technically doing something like that you can lose your job for that and you know and so for her to lie like that and not even because my thing is all of this could have been avoided if you had because she had she has a bad habit of when she makes the schedule she doesn't do anything but copy and paste from one week to the next she doesn't actually take the time to go through and actually look at the schedule to make sure she got people covered, you know, you know, to help with each shift or to help with transition. So, if she had a day to schedule the right way, she would have saw that there wasn't nobody scheduled to work Sundays. And it's just like all of this could have been avoided if she had just properly done the schedule. And so, you know, the guy he got so pissed off that he called the supervisor and he was just like, you know, this is my last day as a manager. And I think that he thought that he was going to was quitting which I don't think he was quitting I think he was just planning on stepping down which to be honest with you when I go to work today that's really what where my mindset is just tell her girl you're gonna have to find somebody else to work afternoons because I'm I'd rather go back to be a crew trainer and y'all know if y'all watch my last video y'all know it's an issue with me not getting paid what I'm supposed to be getting paid um and that and that was a, and that was one of his issues too that you know like you're not even paying me what I'm supposed you know I feel like I'm working more than what you're paying me. And it's just, and it's not even as far as stress, because I can deal with stress. 
it's just it's too much BS on her part. Um, she's definitely not a good communicator. There are there are plenty of instances where people call her or text her and say, you know, I can't come in, I'm sick, or this, and that, and the other. She never once communicates with us and say, hey, this person's not coming in. Until I message her or text her and say, hey, so-and-so didn't show up, then she'll hit back and say, oh, yeah, they told me they wasn't coming. So it's kind of like, well, girl, if you knew they wasn't coming in, why you didn't say, say something to me ahead of time so I would have been able to know you know know how what how i was going to proceed with my shift you know she has a bad habit if we call her she don't answer the phone sometimes we text her she don't text back until hours later at, and at that point it's it's too late it's just like girl where were you at when i was trying to get you earlier but anyway and it's not even just even the crew people say she had i mean you know those of y'all that got iphones you know that it'll tell you can tell when somebody else got an iphone you can tell when they looked at your message and just didn't respond a lot of times she'll read the text message and won't ever respond. It's just like, girl, I, I, it's, and see, I'm the type of person that whenever I approach somebody with the issue, I try to wait until I'm in a good headspace. I don't like to, you know, come at somebody when I'm angry or when I'm irritated. I try to wait until I'm, you know, calm and stuff like that. But it's, but at the same time, I feel like, when I approach people that way, it's kind of like they kind of disregard what I say. So maybe I just need to pop off and go off on. Let me stop. But anyway, but yeah, it's a whole it's 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 it's, it's a whole lot of stress going on. It's it's too much mess. Now I ain't gonna I ain't gonna just I ain't quitting, but I am really contemplating just telling her girl you need to find you another manager to work afternoons because I'm I'm over it now. And the way I'm feeling when I do get a when I do find another job, she'll be lucky if I give her two weeks notice. I might just be like, girl, I might just come to work that one day and be like, and I never come back. No, I ain't gonna do that. You you always leave, and that's something that I've learned all my years of work. You always, whenever you leave, you always leave on in good standing. So that if if something happens and you have to come back, they'll be willing to hire you back. But anyway. So, later on that day, eventually she did find some help. She sent two people from another store, but prior to the skip, they really wasn't that much help. So she sent me one person to work up front, and you had the one lady that was in the kitchen. So around about maybe seven, um... We had uh, people come in. They placed the order. Uh, we had orders in drive through, and it was one order on the front. So the lady in the kitchen, she was having to, you know, make food, and she was also having to drop like nuggets and stuff like that. If I was, if I normally I would do it, but, but sometimes I might have been busy, so she would have to actually walk around and do it herself. So when I come to the front, a lady was standing there, and she was just like, you know, I'm just want to know how long it's going to take, and I was like, well, it's only one person in the kitchen. She says, well, but drive through orders are going out first. I said, well, she's making them in the order that they show up on the screen. If drive through, if the orders in drive through popped up before your order, then she's going to make your order first. Um, and not only that, but anybody who works in fast food, well, I don't know if all fast food restaurants are doing it, but I know with McDonald's, they actually told us to focus, put more attention on drive through because that's where most of our business comes in. So if you have a situation where let's say a drive through order and a front counter order have the same exact order, you're supposed to give that order to drive through and wait for the next item to come up for the front counter. So yeah, I was just like, well, she, you know, if the drive through order, she's making them in the order that they came up on the screen. So she said, okay. And so I went to proceed to do whatever. I don't even remember what I was doing, but I started doing what I was doing. And so she looks at me and says, well, I don't like the way you said that. I said, what you mean? She said, you know, that wasn't very pleasant. I said, well, I'm, I said, well, I'm not really feeling that pleasant right now. She said, well, you're supposed to always be pleasant. I said, you're right, but that's not how I'm feeling right now. So we have this whole back and forth. You know, eventually she got to the point where um, she was just going on and on and on. Eventually, I just walked away. Well, part of the reason because I was taking orders and drive through. So when I had a car, I was just like, girl, like, I don't have time for you. So I went back to taking orders. And then once I finished taking order, I walked away. So... 
I was just like, because it's obvious that, to me, it was obvious that she was just trying to pick a fight because after I explained what I explained to her, she was just like, oh, okay. And then she goes and say, well, I don't like the way you said that. So I, after a while, I was just like, girl, I don't got time for you. So one of my crew members came to me and was like, okay, do you, was like, do you have a pen? And I was like, no, but you can go look in the office. I already knew what he was coming because she was going to call and complain. Um... And so he goes and talks to the lady and he comes back and was like, she wants you. And I mean to ask him, did he give her my real, well, I don't, I don't really care if he did. I mean, what, what they going to do? You can suspend me, whatever. But, you know, I deal with that later. I haven't heard anything about it, so we'll see. But I was just like, you the one that came off at me. Because after I said what I said, it should have been over with you. You the one to go, oh, I don't like the way you said it. Well, girl... If you don't like it, you don't like it. In the words of Nene Leaks, like it was just, it was girl. Because even after it was after all that had happened, the guy came to me and was like, "What was that about?" I said, and "She just wanted to pick a fight." Cause it was it like it to me, it wasn't that serious. Like cause where she was standing at. She could eat. She could look into the kitchen and see that it was just that one person making all the orders by herself. I mean, and it ain't my fault that I got three orders in drive through that popped up before your order popped up. Like I ain't got nothing to do with that. So you, I mean, girl, you just gonna have to wait until it's ready. Like, I mean, it ain't like you know, cause it ain't like she was somewhere lollygagging and not making the order. She was working. I mean, she only one person. What can she do? Um. But if I had been up there when she tried to report me, I would have told her, girl, my name is Marcus. And make sure you spell it with the K and out of C, honey. And have a good day. Because the guy came back to me and it was like that she was going off time out. He got the right, he got the wrong B today. I said, well, that's what she want to call herself. That's on her. I ain't the one that said it, even though that's what she was acting like. But anyway. But yeah, y'all, it's, 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 it's so mixed. Because even... Me, me and one of the other managers, we was talking, and he was just like, this place is depressing. I was like, yeah, I remember it was a time when I used to love coming to work. And now it's just like, girl, as soon as I walk in, I'm just like, I'm ready to go home. Like, it's just, I don't know what has happened or what has changed, but it's definitely not the same as it was when I first started. It's something, something, something somewhere down the line has changed, and to be honest, a lot of it does have to do with the with the GM. I'm just gonna make put it out there and make it plain. But y'all pray for me. I need I need just a little bit of patience because to be honest, if I if I didn't need that job, I would just not even I would just leave out one day and not ever come back. Don't and not even tell nobody I'm quitting. Just not show up. But I got bills to pay, so I need my money. And YouTube, my YouTube ain't picked up to the point where I can just do this full time. But anyway, that's the, that's all I wanted to talk about. Y'all leave y'all comments down below, and I will talk to y'all later. Peace.